Well fans, viewers, today is a beer that I've been looking forward to for, well, since its release. This is the new Chimay. Yes, so for the first time in God knows how many years they've released a new one. It's not technically new, but it's new, if that makes sense. This is Chimay 150, or Chimay Green. This is from Belgium, it's a 330, and it's 10% alcohol as you can see there um there's a story with this beer actually so this actual beer here originated and, and came about in 2012 i think it was about 2012 um i remember drinking it actually i do remember drinking it a long time ago in 2012 in a big 750 ml bottle and it was like a limited release, uh, I think, for something like their 150th year or something along that line. Hence the name 150. Um, it was so good and so popular that Chime fans all around the world wanted more and requested that they should bring this out as a standard Chime. And of course the monks at the brewery kind of, I suppose, in a way were flattered, but at the same time uh, also dismissed the idea because they didn't want to bring any new Chimay's out because all the Chimay's they've got are very very good and no doubt they wanted to probably focus their time on the upkeep of the Abbey well then until recently uh, I'm saying probably about a month now this has probably been out less than that even a few weeks maybe at tops uh, we've got this and this is literally that same beer from 2012 redesigned and rebottled so there we go Chimay 150 or Chimay Green is the latest in the series and it's the strongest in the series the Chimay's if you exclude the barrel age stuff that they do um, that's usually about 10.5% but the smaller Chimay's Chimay Blue, Red and all that gold this is the strongest so looking forward to this beautiful hiss, bit of smoke coming off there the cap I've actually done perfectly, there's no dent on that, that's amazing, I've never done that for a while, look at that, not even a dent. Let's do that, right let's go with the pour. So apparently this is a blonde in style. just done that because the etching in the glass uh, is, you know is, there is an etching there but it's not the best of the etchings you see there pours a cloudy golden blonde head is uh, tightly compact bubbles looks very fresh looking pure brilliant white just gonna see if I can top this up without too much head on it that's gonna be awkward I think I'll leave it there for the moment. There we go, that's what you're looking at. You can still see that. Big white head, hazy in colour. Hold out to a light, a very hazy golden colour, you cannot see through it. Small carbonation work in its magic. There it is, a set of brilliant white, small compact bubbles in it. Looks fresh and yeasty. Looking forward to this. Let's see what I can get with the aromas. Let's see what I can get on the taste as well, because I'm hoping this is going to taste as good as the hype's been. The hype is like, oh, it's very good, you know. Um, but sometimes they do this and it's actually the reverse. Sometimes they actually mean it. So who knows? Who knows? Ooh, very lemony. Like a lemon peel, hints of yeast, floral, spice. maybe a tad of alcohol really quite pleasant really quite pleasant on the aroma so let's get on with the taste so here we go 11 minutes past 10 in the morning I'm drinking a 10% beer what's wrong with me I don't know oh fuck me very punchy Punchy, florally, 
spice. See, there's lots of spice. Bit of orange peel. Citrus notes. Bit of yeast. Lovely sort of... Um, a lovely... It's got a lovely flavour. And I think that could be like a... Maybe a grapefruit. It's sort of on that line of like that citrusy grapefruit. But it's not that bit of sound as you get from a grapefruit. This has given me a slight grapefruit flavour with a nice warmth alcohol burn. But the burn isn't a burn. It warms the mouth. It warms your insides almost. But not to the extent where it's like a fire. And it's got that beautiful sort of what I'm going to perceive as a grapefruit. There's plenty of spice in this. I'm getting all sorts of spices. Can't tell you what they are. Because I don't really know. And I can't detect because it's so much going on. It's hints of floral notes as well. The body of the beer is medium but very very frothy. The head almost takes over and it brings out the froth. After taste I'm now getting more of a lemon, more of spice. That's really something. It's very gentle. That is a good beer. I'm going to cheat and have a look, see what's on it, see what they say. Right, okay, so it's saying here that it's a sophisticated, refreshing blonde beer with balanced flavour of floral fragrance, which I'm getting, combined with hints of dried fruit. I'm not getting dried fruit, I'll be honest. Uh, and spices, which I am getting. The beer is brewed in the Trappist Abbey. The majority of the income is intended for social aid. Beer fermented in bottle. Wow. Uh, ingredients are water, barley milk, sugar, wheat starch, hops, spices and yeast. Well there you go. I've got a majority of that. I've got the, the spices. I've got the yeast. I didn't get the dried fruit if I'm being honest. I, I didn't get any dried fruit. Maybe a, an apricot on the aftertaste along with that grapefruity kind of flavor so i would say yeah more of a, an apricot but it, it, it the flavors are now still going by the way it's still escalating and it's got a little bit more bitter as time's gone on as long as now our palate has settled i'm getting just a little bit of bitter coming in yeah very good beer very well balanced um I would score this, I would probably say uh, a good 8.5 out of 10. It's good, so there's some interesting flavours, it's nice and soft, it's somewhat gentle. The flavours keep coming, 10% reasonable strength, good old Chimay, bringing out a decent beer again with high strength. Uh, and it's well put together, it's a fantastic beer, well made, well made indeed. And if I may show you, I don't know if it's going to work, but just before I sign off, can we get any lacing? I don't think we can. There we go, just dribs and drabs around the back there. So, yeah, great beer indeed. Great beer indeed. So, yeah, 150 years of Chimay, and what a way to do it than to bring out the re-release of Chimay 150, or Chimay Green, if you will. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See that little face of there? That's me. Click on that and you'll be subscribed. Don't forget, keep hashtagging at Ruku's Beer. Until next time, thanks for watching.